As an auditor, you need to validate that operating system is still supported by the manufacturer. End of support is when manufacturer no longer provides maintenance services or security updates after a certain date. If organization is using OS for which no new security updates are available, then it may be exploited. You need to check end of support date for each of these operating system. This can be done easily by using Google. Let us first check for Windows 12 R2. What you need to do is to simply copy the server name, open Google. So server name and end of life. Okay, you can get this data from many website, but best way is to validate this from Microsoft website. So this is the details. Windows Server 12 R2. This is these are the server details. Now extended end date is available till 2023. Further extended security update is available till 2026. So if you are doing audit in 2022, there seems to be no issue with respect to this particular server. So let us make these three server as complied. Now let us check Windows 2003, Windows 3 server. We will adopt same audit procedure for Windows 3. Copy the server name, open Google. Try to find server name plus end of life. Okay, try to locate Microsoft website. Fine. So here is the detail Windows Server 3. Now we need to locate end date. Extended end date is 2015. So this is an issue for us. We are doing audit in 2022 and support date already expired in 2050. So organization is using a server which is now not supported by Microsoft. So let us highlight this with red. Now let us quickly draft the audit observation with respect to Windows Server. We will be using same audit report format. This particular observation already drafted to save the time. So this is the new observation, observation number 7, database control. As told earlier, there will be or there should be three part of an audit observation. First one is your requirement, second one is actual position, fact and third one is source of evidence. Now, sometime you may not find specific requirement in information security policy. In such cases, you can write industry best practices. So, this can be your draft. As a best practice, organization should upgrade the operating system once it reaches end of support by the manufacturer. This is the best practice. What is the fact? However, it has been observed that for database D, operating system is still window 3 even though same has reached end of life. And how you concluded this? You had a system walkthrough on so and so date wherein you actually validated window version and then you discuss this with Mr. So and so. What is the risk? In absence of support from manufacturer, new security flaw cannot be patched and hence it may be subject to exploitation. 
so when end of life or end of support os is being used risk is high and this is your recommendation organization should upgrade the operating system for database d okay so now let us move to next data field that is server location and backup location